We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft Bedrock server for free. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. Now, while you can get a free Minecraft Bedrock server, ultimately a paid one is going to have a ton of more features. For example, you, there'll be no waiting times for the server to start. You'll have 24 seven support and the server will be 24 seven as well. So there are quite a few benefits to having a paid one. If you're interested in this, there'll be a link in the pinned comment and in the description. And at the moment you can get 50% off monthly plans as well. So it's definitely worth checking out. But now let's continue with the guide. So what you want to do is come to a search engine and search for something called Atenos. Atenos is a free Minecraft server host. So go and search for it and then just go to the website, which is atenos.org. You'll need to scroll down and then you can go over to the right and click on play just like this. And then what you can do is go and press on sign up now if you haven't already got an account. I do, so I can just go and log in like so. Now, when you go and create your account or go and log in, you can then go and see your servers. You probably won't have any here, so you can go and click on create. I'm gonna go and create a new server with you as well, just to guide you through it. And on the create page, this is where you can go and select the bedrock edition. So click here and then you can go and choose the name of your server and edit this here, but you can change it later as it says, and then just go and click on create and the server is now being created. So there are so many things you can do on Atenos. For example, before we join the server, I'll quickly run through this. You can come over to the left and click on options. And in here, you can go and change the game mode, the difficulty, um, things like that. You've also got a console, your server log, players as well. So you can add whitelists and OPs. You can check out the software, the files and the worlds as well. But now let's go and join this server. So head over to the left and click on server, just like so at the top, and then press on start. You then need to agree to the EULA. I've read this before, so I already agree to it. So I'll click accept and you have to go and watch this advertisement while they start the free server for you. Within a minute or two, the server is now online. So what we're going to need is the address up here and then scroll down and you'll also need the port as well. So what we're gonna do is go to Minecraft and go and click on play, then click on servers and scroll down on the left here and click on add server and you can enter a name for this. I'll just name this test like so. And then the address is this here. So what you can do is just manually type it in or you can press copy and come back to Minecraft and then paste it in using control and V. And then we need the port as well. Then we've got the port which I can type in. For me, it's 55841, just like this. And I'll then click play and we're now connecting and it's generating and locating the server. And just like that, we've now gone and joined our Minecraft server. And so you can then go and start playing Minecraft as you usually would. But what you can do is go and give your address and port to your friends so you can go and play together all in one world. It's super cool. So you could go and build a village and just do whatever you want, explore the world and just enjoy Minecraft. And if we come back to Atenos, you can now see there's one player online, which is me, of course. And then what we could do is go over to the left and you can go into players because you may want to go and say make yourself OP, which basically means you've got Minecraft admin privileges. So you can do things like changing the game mode and things like that. So to do that, you go into OPs and then as you can see, the player must be online and you can then type in the username. So my username is Tucker. 6577 like that and I could then press add. I'm now OP. So then if we come back to Minecraft like so, I can now do things like change my game mode. So I can type in slash game mode and change it to creative, let's say. And just like that, I can now go and fly around and do whatever. But as I said at the start of this video, when I was talking about the sponsor Apex, there's definitely advantages to using a paid Minecraft server because you don't have to wait for things like the server to come online. And also you can have 24 seven support, which are all benefits of Apex. So definitely if you wanna go and have a 24 seven Minecraft server for all your friends to join and it will stay online when people aren't online and things like that. So if you're interested in getting your own, then click on the link in the pin comment or the description and you'll get taken to Apex and you can go and get started. I hope you did find this guide useful and if you want to see more useful Minecraft guides then please go and check out the channel and subscribe and of course leave a like on this video as well.